Close your eyes, place your hands in your lap, and watch the breath coming in and going out. You want to stay right here. It's all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Don't wander off anywhere else. If you do wander off, come right back. Let's just drop whatever the thought may be, and you're immediately back with the breath, because the breath is right here. It's the definition of right here. Because there's no past breath, there's no future breath. It's just this present breath coming in and going out. The mind needs a good, solid place to stay right here. And learn how to settle down right here. That way it gets, it gets some inner strength. Because if it's running around all the time, there's no strength at all. It's like when they're, playing, when they're doing boxing. You have to have a firm stance if you're going to hit the opponent. Otherwise you get hit all over the place. You get hit by sight, sounds, smells, taste, tactile sensations. They keep hitting you all the time. You get weaker and weaker. Unless you can find something inside that can serve as your source of strength. So this is why we develop concentration. We talk about the wisdom that comes from listening and the wisdom that comes from thinking about things. But the real understanding that's going to help clear up the mind has to come from practicing concentration. Because this way you get to know your mind. At the same time, you gain the strength that you need in order to deal with whatever comes up. This is based on actually five kinds of strength. There's the strength of conviction that what you do really is important and really does make a difference in the world, both in the present moment and on into the future. So you want to be careful about what you do. And if you're going to be careful about what you do, you have to keep being persistent and looking after the mind and being mindful to remember that you've got to look after the mind. Anything that comes up that you know is unskillful, you let it go. Let it go. You don't have to get involved. Anything that comes up in the mind that's skillful, you try to nurture it and try to maintain it. And that gives you strength right there, because you've got the conviction of con strength of conviction, strength of persistence, strength of mindfulness. So when you're dealing with issues outside, okay, you, you're not tempted to go for the quick fix. You want to go for something that's longer and more lasting. And this is why we develop concentration. So if you develop this lasting, staying power in the mind, because that's what concentration is, you've got staying power. You can stay centered and not get distracted by things outside. And if you find yourself getting distracted, okay, you look at it and say, what is there in that distraction that pulls you away? That's how you gain the strength of discernment. So things that ordinarily would tempt you don't hold any interest anymore, because you can see right through them. That is something that you participated in creating, and you're suffering from it, so why do you want to keep on participating? And that way you learn how to drop a lot of the mind's burdens. So when the mind isn't carrying a lot of burdens around, then it's a lot stronger. So we need strength of mind in order to survive in this world. Otherwise we get bowled over by all the influences from outside. Someone recommends that we break the precepts, and we just can't resist. Someone recommends we do other things that are wrong, we just can't resist, because we don't have any inner strength. So if you really want to be strong, you've got to develop the strength coming from within. And we all have these potentials. It's simply a matter of learning how to develop them. And that way, when you have the conviction of strength of conviction, the strength of persistence, mindfulness, concentration, and discernment, that we can do with any situation, inside or out and not get blown away by other people's opinions or other people's ideas or your own crazy ideas that come pop popping up in the mind. Because you've got a solid sense of values that you can depend on, and you've got the strength you need in order to stick to those values. So it's by developing the strength that comes from inside, that's when you find true happiness. <laughs>